the other things I've been thinking about these last few days. It's a phrase borrowed from Richard Raw. Is that healthy religion helps us to transform our pain. Part of being human is to acknowledge the pain within our lives. We don't deserve it. It's not used to test us by a masochistic God. It's just one of those realities through disease, maybe our own behaviour, a whole number of factors, the behaviour of others. We've got two choices. We can then pass that pain on to others, transmit it to another through word, maybe even silence or actions that get it out of our system, but just carry it on to another, especially ones we love. I feel like in our culture, in Australian culture, we do a lot of pain transmitting because of racism, prejudice, misunderstandings about cultural sensitivities, and basically just a lack of recognition of our first nations, peoples, and their culture. So the other choice around our pain is to transform it. Acknowledge it, learn from it, transform it into something that's good for us. Something which actually benefits ourselves and the common good transforms it into something that we never thought was possible beforehand. When we transform it, it either becomes the grounding for the next phase of our life, the next insight, or we can get rid of it. It's taught us what we need to learn and therefore we don't need to carry it anymore. And the danger for our human being is that we tend to hold on to pain. I don't know why, really. I don't know whether it's because we sometimes turn ourselves into victims. Anyway, I just, maybe we don't know what to do with it. And therefore, healthy religion, whoever you may call the divine, actually allows us to do something with it. And like Jesus on the cross, turn it into a resurrection story, a good news story of life, not death, of light, not darkness, of love, not hatred. As I keep saying, it's as simple and as complicated as that. <laughs>